falling monkey heads and how to make them loop in Blender. Before you begin, make sure that all of your particle settings are the way you, that you want them, because you will not be able to change them later. Your particle timeline also needs to match up with your animation timeline. My particles last for a total of 100 frames, so I'll set my end frame on my timeline to 100. The default for the starting frame on everything is 1, but if we don't want to flicker, we need to set it to 0, so there isn't a gap. Now we need to offset the entire simulation so the timeline starts in the middle. But the center of mine is 50 frames, so I'll subtract 50 from the start and end points. 0 minus 50 is negative 50, and 100 minus 50 is 50. That will make it so that when the timeline starts, it will start in the middle of the simulation. Now would be also be a good time to rename the simulation, just for later. So if you click on this little button here, it will duplicate the system. And now if you add a new one and select the duplicated system, nothing will happen. But if you offset the second sim so that it starts when the other one ends, and the timeline ends in the middle, then your animation will not loop. If you're still confused about what all this offsetting was, it is just taking one set of particles, duplicating it, and then moving them both so that the start and end points of the timeline is in the middle of both of them. And that's it, how to make particles loop in Blender.